conserving nature is not only about climate change, it's not about only about forests, it's not only about pollution, it's also about wildlife and we, we tend to forget that. What is important is that we can save species. We know how to do that and we have really documented that. So there are many successes. Even in SOS, we are, after a few years only, we have documented successes. And many people, I'm sure, are keen to do something for uh, wildlife conservation, but they don't know how to engage. They don't know who to go to. There are so many uh, competing organizations, and as a neutral body, we are not implementing projects, so we are not competing against anyone. We just want to make the best use of our knowledge and our expert network to uh, identify the best project and spend the money in the best possible way. We work on nature-based solutions. We are in a way, or well, we are, the oldest and largest environment organization in the world. We are membership-based, founded in 1948, working on setting in place sustainable conservation, conservation as well as science and evidence. The red list that we have created 51 years ago lists species that are threatened and endangered. But on the ground we have to work and implement that work. That's what the Save Our Species program, the SOS program does. It is in a sense one of the tools that we have in our toolbox on the ground with communities, with members working day to day to implement safeguarding of species and our environment. That's what we do. SOS provides us a vehicle in order to be able to direct funding to NGOs, particularly to small NGOs in countries where funding and investments need to go to save species. Last two years, in 2003, we got one female in captivity and three wild baskas. And this year we got one more female and news of two baska babies. So that's a great achievement with this monetary help. So we are really thankful to SOS. The SOS funding is amazing because this is allowing the fishermen to use an equipment and save their own lives. We are connecting the safety of the fishermen with the safety of the dolphins. So we are giving the fishermen an incentive to live release uh, net dolphins that are caught in their net and in return they are getting this benefit. I think it's a fantastic win-win situation.